Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike Oski's Kitchen. I'm Michael Olszewski and I'm the chef of this kitchen. And if you're tuning in, I hope you're being a part of the army of being a chef of your kitchen too. We've been putting some great meals down on the table, but if you have noticed, today I don't have my chef Mikey jacket on. I have an island shirt. What does that mean? I'll tell you here in a minute. Look, we're here at the end of August. Labor Day's next week. Um, you can make this up for your family. This is a fantastic dish. It's so good. It's so island-like. And if you didn't go on vacation this year because of all the stuff that's going on, oh well, you can make it right here. You can bring the islands back into your home, just like we did those pineapple bowls. This is a super, super, super easy dish to make. There are some ingredients, but I'm gonna show you step by step. This dish is my own special Caribbean fish with mango salsa. Oh, you're gonna love it. Here how it goes. In the salsa, we're gonna make the salsa first, I'll tell you why. We're gonna use some fresh cilantro, we're gonna use some pineapple, we're gonna use a mango, some red onion, red pepper, uh, lime juice, and of course some black beans. And when we come back, I'll show you how much of each of these we're gonna use, and we'll make up the mango salsa. So we're gonna go in pieces, okay? We're gonna make the salsa, and then we're gonna make this fish rub. This is what's gonna go on the fish. This is what's gonna, the fish is gonna cook with. It's wonderful. If simply it's in us paprika, we have um, uh, curry powder, some cumin, some allspice, um, ginger, coriander, ha, pepper, it was reminding me I had to say it, salt, and some cayenne, okay? We're gonna put this together in a bowl and mix it up. It's gonna be our spices that's gonna go on the fish. It's gonna be really, really good, guys. Trust me on this. So that's kind of phase two. Phase three is the fish. I'm using just regular tilapia, okay? So we're gonna use that, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna crust it. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of coat it with pinkos, uh, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. A little bit of milk, and an egg, and some unsweetened coconut. Wait till you see what we're gonna do with this thing. Now listen, when I come back, when I come back, we're gonna make the salsa because it's gotta go in the refrigerator and chill for about 30 minutes to half hour, which gives us plenty of time to make up our, our, our spice rub and then get the fish ready. So get ready, Caribbean fish with mango salsa, bringing the islands into your kitchen. Let me help you do that. I'll be right back. Okay, hey, great, welcome back. Now here we go, first step of this wonderful Caribbean fish with the mango salsa. We're gonna make the mango salsa first. In the salsa, we're gonna use fresh, 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 fresh cilantro. Uh, we're gonna use lime juice, three tablespoons of lime juice. We're gonna cut up three tablespoons of cilantro, forgot to tell you that about a half a cup of black beans. We'll go ahead and put these in a strainer or a colander, we'll rinse them out. We're gonna use half of a red onion. We're gonna chop it up very fine. We're gonna use half of a red pepper. We're gonna chop it up very fine. We're gonna go ahead and take this, this pineapple, gonna get it ready, slice and dice it. We're gonna chop this up in chunks, small little chunks. I'll show you here when we come back. Um, we're gonna use about a cup of this and then we're gonna use the entire mango. We're gonna peel it, take the seeds out of it, and then we're gonna dice it up. And all that stuff is gonna go into this nice little bowl and it's gonna go into the refrigerator to chill. Again, at least a half hour or an hour, whatever. That's really good when it's chill. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my cut and stuff ready to go. You do too. We're gonna chop this up. We're gonna leave this alone. We're gonna rinse and strain. We're gonna chop, we're gonna chop, we're gonna chop, and we're gonna chop. And we're gonna continue to make the islands come closer to our kitchens. I'll be right back. We'll be putting this together. See you right here. Okay, welcome back. Hey, got some cutting done. Stay hydrated, I sure am. Boy, boy, you gotta make sure you stay hydrated when you're cooking. Even if you're not dehydrated, it's always fun to have a sip of your favorite beverage while you're cooking at your kitchen. Do it. Look, we got everything cut up here for the, for the salsa, okay? Mango salsa. Um, we're just gonna all put it in one bowl. There's no particular order. You do it as you want. Remember, we're gonna put a cup of chopped pineapple that's fresh pineapple you know what if you want to buy the ring pineapple you know in a can or something get it out chop it up that's fine with, that's, that's fine it's up to you i just happen to have a fresh pineapple so we're using that okay then we're going to do a half a cup of black beans okay now the star of the show Let me get out of the way the mango i went ahead and cut up a full mango and i put it in little chunks as you can see they're little chunks and make a salsa. It's gonna be kind of a chunky type salsa. It's fantastic. What do you see? What do you see how it comes out? What do you see? What do you see? Just relax. Take all the mango, put it in there. 
And then of course I did a half of a red onion. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And we did a half of a red pepper. We're gonna put all that in there. And there's no order. We're just gonna go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Get everything in. It's all gonna go together anyway, so go. <laughs> might as well do it now, right? Red onion and onion, uh, red onion and red pepper, mango, oh. I can hear the steel drums playing. Can't you? Or is it just me? Anyway, um, so there we go. There's all of our vegetable, or not vegetables, our fruits. Now listen, last step, we're gonna take the three tablespoons of fresh cilantro. We're gonna sprinkle that on top. We're gonna fold it in. Let's go ahead and fold it all together now. Just keep mixing it, get it all integrated, share the space with each other. Oh, where you're gonna you're gonna flip this a few more times here before you serve it. Mango salsa. Final step. Remember that three tablespoons of lime juice. Done. And folks, right there is an absolute gem of a Caribbean smell, taste. And look, you see that? Fantastic. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put them down, and yeah, mix it a little bit more. We'll mix it again, we'll mix it again, don't worry. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. I gotta let this thing chill, it's very good chilled. Not so good room temperature, it's what you like, I like it chilled. So, put it in the fridge, when I come back, we're gonna make the fish um, uh, spice mix and I'm gonna show you how to do that. That's simple too. No cutting, just a couple measurements, and we're gonna do it, I'll be right back. All right, great, hey, welcome back. Here is part two of the Caribbean Fish with Mango Salsa by Mike Oski. We're just gonna make this nice little spice rub mixture that we're gonna do something special with it. We're not gonna particularly rub it on the fish, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. It's kind of ingenuity, I think, it's kind of fun, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here's here goes into the rub. Remember, we talked about paprika, so we're gonna put a tablespoon of paprika in there. And then next is gonna be the cumin. And that's gonna be two teaspoons. Just keep adding it up, folks, not a big deal. Next is gonna be the, up. Oh, that wasn't a cumin, I'm sorry, that was a curry. Next is the cumin. Cumin is gonna be um, another two teaspoons. And then, of course, we have some allspice. Allspice we're using one and a half teaspoon. Move these out of the way. And we got ginger. How much ginger are we gonna use? We're gonna use this one teaspoon of ginger. Oh, all these spices coming together. Boy, do they smell good already. Uh, coriander. We're gonna use a teaspoon of coriander, okay? Move this stuff out of the way. Salt, gotta have salt in your stuff. Cool. Three quarter teaspoon of salt. Not too much. Pepper, <laughs> I love pepper in any food, but in this it's really good as well. We're just gonna use a half teaspoon of pepper. And then we have some cayenne for a little bit of heat, not much. Only about an eighth of a teaspoon. And that is it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, mix it up. Let me find the mixer. Here we go. Use the back of this. Now it's gonna go ahead and mix it up. Oh my goodness, I had a spoon right in front of me. There, we're just gonna mix it up. This is gonna go into our next step, it's gonna be a part of our next step when we make the topping or the breading or what we're gonna use the fish, uh, put over the fish with the pankos, but this is it, man. Now you're not gonna use all of this. This is, uh, this is extra for another time. You can put this on just fish, you can put it on shrimp, you can put it on anything you want. It's a fan, fan, fantastic rub. That is it, folks, okay? I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Our spices are done. Inside we got chili or mango salsa. Our spices are done. Now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the fish and I will be right back. Okay, here's the next step. Now this is a really easy step, so it's not gonna take long. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put together our kind of an egg wash <clears throat> and then of course kind of the topping we're gonna put on it, okay? So this is gonna be really easy. What this is gonna take, remember we have this, um, uh, this spice mixture and I'll show you what to do with that. We're gonna take a, a third cup of milk and then, we're gonna crack an egg in there with it. Just gonna mix it up, okay? 
the egg and milk. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that in a minute, but hold on. Now for the coating, another easy step. I wanna show you the step by step so you can kind of just follow this and make it. I'm telling you guys, it's super easy. So we're gonna use is pankos. Okay, I love pankos for this kind of dish because it's kind of crunchy and uh, when, they, when, the, when, when a fish fry on a skillet or if you have it on a griddle or something like that, they crunch up really nice. So I'm gonna go a cup of panko and then I'm gonna go two tablespoons of unsweetened coconut and I'm just gonna mix it in. One more step, hang on. Mix all that coconut in because what that's gonna do, that's gonna give a nice little coconut taste to the fish as well. So there you have it. I mean, Caribbean all the way, right? Now, our spice mix. Add it to this because we're gonna include the spice mix in with the pankos and in with the coconut. So it's gonna be all one cover, covering or coating on the fish. I like to use two tablespoons of this in this dish. One and two. You see, you got a lot left over for another another dish or, or whatever you wanna do with it. Now let's mix it all together. This is gonna be our tables, this is gonna be our, um, our coating right before we put the fish onto the heat, baby. So we have spice mixture, we have pankos, and we have some nice coconut um, to offset everything. This is so, so, so good. That is it. Now when I come back, we'll get the fish ready to go. I got about five fillets I'm gonna work with, but I'm gonna show you what to do with this. We're just gonna go ahead and use the egg wash. We're gonna wash it in the egg, I'm just gonna coat it, and we're gonna set it aside, and we're gonna cook it, okay? This is gonna be fantastic. I'll see you right back here. We're gonna prep the fish, and we're ready to cook. Hey, guess what? Our mango uh, sauce is still chilling, so let it go, man, okay? Let it go. I'll see you right back here. Oh man, I just love it when things come together. We're ready to go here. All we're gonna do is dip these little fillets and some egg wash and coat them with this wonderful coating. Set them aside and we're just gonna fry them up. Fantastic. Let me show you how to do one of them. But again, the egg and the milk together and then of course here's the panko with the, um, uh, the spice mix and the um, coconut. I'm just gonna put it in here, but it's gonna go down. Now you notice I, I, I transferred everything to plates. I like working with the plates because it's a little easier for me to work. Drop it right on there, press it down, flip it around, cover it up a little bit. Don't you know? It's inside. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, island people. It's time to cook our fish. Oh, this is the best part of the best part of the job. Look, I have a griddle going on here. I take a little bit of olive oil and I just kind of line it with the griddle. Uh, I love olive oil, but better than putting butter down or ham or anything like that. Plus, things brown a lot nicer too. So. Just go ahead and hit that little bit of olive oil. Let's go ahead and put a, put a couple of these fillets on there. Ooh, you can hear them already sizzling. That's fantastic. There's two. I'll throw another one on there. There's three. Now, as these brown, two to three minutes each side, not a whole lot of time. 
Do you remember you, I said you're gonna have extra um, spice mix left? Hang tight because what we're gonna do, we're gonna drizzle it, just shake it a little bit on, on the sides, if we lose some of it because the panko sometimes wanna cook right off the fish, but that's okay. We have extra hair, if you can see that hair, can use that with our fingers and just, just sprinkle it on there. But this looks fine the way it is. Once we flip them over, we'll assess the situation and then we can add a little bit more of the pankos on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cook these two to three minutes. Make sure they don't stick. Now you can do this on a grill. You can do this on a, on a, on a skillet. You can do this on a flat, uh, a flat stove. You can do it wherever you want. I like to use the griddle because it just, I don't know, just more fun to me, that's all. So it's just a preference, so you can do it any way you want. So we're gonna get, I got this thing set at about 350. Gonna go two to three minutes, I'll flip them, and I'll see you right back here. We'll see what they look like when they flip. If we need to add some, I'm gonna show you that step. I'll be right back. All right, great, so I flipped these. As you can see, a little bit of that panko breading came off when you flip, it's no big deal. We have extra left. So let's go ahead and move this along the top here, and we'll just go ahead and put it on there. I've already flipped them, so we're just waiting for the other side to get done, and guess what, folks? We're about ready to eat, because what I'm gonna do is just take this straight off. I'm not gonna flip them anymore. I'm just covering them with the panko. So, we're gonna pull them right off and put them right side up. And guess what? When we come back, we'll be ready to plate this thing with guess what? That's right, the superstar of the show, mango salsa. Be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, here we are, we've reached the finish line. We got a wonderful dish this Caribbean fish with mango salsa. We got the fish with the panko, and we have the coconut on top of that, and a wonderful, wonderful spice mix. And then of course, the salsa with mango and pineapple and, and all kinds of different, different flavors. So, figured since we're doing in the island, I might as well go ahead and have a little bit of island drink. This right here. Mmm. Can you see it? Try it. Mmm, pina colada. So good. Mmm. Why not? We're bringing the islands in our house. Let's bring some drinks into our house, too. Let's go ahead and try this. Now, you know what? Hold on. This is so good. Let me try this. I'm going to take a little piece of this fish. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in some of this salsa with it. And we're going to bring it together. so good that is so so good you're gonna love it guys my salsa is nice and cool you know what this salsa you can just make anytime put a little bit of this fish but man you got that oh salsa and all those different island flavors mixing together you're gonna love this make this before it gets cold this is still a summer type food it's a caribbean type of food bring the islands into your house and you know what i enjoy pina colada I'm a beer guy. So anyway, thanks for showing up. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment on the section on the on the comment section if you have any questions. I'd love to help you. I'm here to help you. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. And like I always say in my own very special Polish way, even if we're cooking Caribbean food, Nostrovia.